Hello everybody! This week we'll use this for the ITL. Because it'll work. Oh, this is actually on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah, too fine. I'll say it three times. Ah, glass. Too fine. I'll say it three times. Huh. Well, anyway, this is Wednesday, 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 the thirteenth of oh, the fifteenth of August. I should know that because it's my birthday. It's my birthday, and I figured, you know, I'll just go ahead and shoot. I'm on the way to get something to eat. And I'll talk to you guys on the ITL, don't it? Yeah, if you haven't noticed, looking at the screen, you might get glimpses of my arms. Yeah, I'm squidding today. Do what I say, not what I do, please. But today, I figured, the heck with it, it's too hot too miserable weather, I'll just go ahead and squid it. But let's what what I wanted to talk about. Well I'll go ahead and I'll have to probably have to put the two videos up and back together just to make sense. Uh, let's talk about my um, my PC I'm built I'm putting build and putting together. I'll just say putting together because I'm not building it. It's been very built. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm putting together a Linux PC. Hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully everything will work out just good. I, uh, I am actually using a Pentium 4. Oh, my flasher. Using a Pentium 4, the 2.8 gigahertz uh, processor and board chipset. Intel. Oh, I mean, I'm just going through it. I remember it's a, it's an old Dell, actually. It's a Dell 4600. And uh, last time I knew about this, I had somebody on my ass. I'm not giving the bird. Um, last time I knew, this machine was runnable. But the case was shot. The uh, it had some issues, but it was, the machine was runnable before, I, before it was taken down. Got the same footy ball. Well, saying that, it was retired, and I mean, they didn't have an operating system anymore. It, you did run Windows XP at the time. So, I mean, it, it, it just it was corrupted and it was no good. I, mean, I think what happened was the hard drive went out on it. But since the case, I didn't like the case. It was really small, cramped, it heated up a lot. I think I put it in a bigger case. I'm not my sex uh, ATX case that I got off of uh, Gopher Rider. Yeah, I, I said it, Gopher. Nice XTX case, which is very roomy for it. Um, I did have to order a power supply cord adapter for the motherboard because the ATX power supply was a 24 pin and I needed a 20 pin plug it. And most of the time, you can always take that and shift it over so two, four of the plugs are pins are not being used. You could do that. This one here, there wasn't enough room. So I went ahead and ordered it. They're cheap. They're cheap, man. You're talking like five bucks. Four or five bucks. And I went ahead and decided, since the uh, Pentium 4 processor from Dell, it really used the case fan as the cooling fan for the, the CPU. It had ductwork. I don't have the ductwork. So what I end up doing is I'll go ahead and add a second cooling fan to the case to make sure the air flows properly. That way, with all the ductwork in the, kill, uh, the case and everything, it'll do be good. And what I'll do is I'll show, I'll go through this before later on if there's interest, and I'll show pictures of what I'm doing and if it works out. Now this is, I'm planning on putting, oh, probably got a couple gig of RAM in it. It takes a DDR2. And uh, that's a nice looking car for yellow. 
I don't like yellow though. And I got a gig, a little over a gig already in it. Uh, I probably have to pull it out and stick the, stick the two gig chips. That uh, chipset though is limited. It's a limited chipset for at three gig. And it'll do what I need to do, I think. I think. Which I mean, if it'll, it should work. Mazda, zoom, zoom, zoom. But it should, it should do the job for me. It's gonna be light duty. It's gonna be old. It's, and why am I doing this? Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I think it's a very good reason because I can. And I'm not, I'm not being smart or anything. That is just, you know, I have the machine laying there, I have parts laying here, and, and it's not all Dell. I mean, it, most of it's Dell, because it came from actually several different machines. I'll talk more whenever i on the way home. It'll be a split second for you. Oh, I don't know how long for me. Okay, 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 what was I talking about? Oh, hello machine. Okay, the, P, the Linux PC that I'm building. Okay, I was in, I thought off to, 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 it was all basically Dell machine. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't have a DVD ROM for it, which you really could should could use for putting on a larger Linux distro. And that, that brings me to the wording distro. Uh, for the piece for the Linux and the Mac users, well, to explain what a dist what a distro is, a distro is basically like a version or a flavor of Linux. It's I mean, my eyes would say see it as if, uh, for example, like Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. You know, you pick what flavor you want. Um, it's all based off of Linux, you know, but you have different flavors. But, to get past that, the, uh, the Dell, the, I mean, I had several, several Dells, pieces and parts, some bits and pieces, and I have a couple other machines, not really of any, of any good use, they're really, really old, I mean, really old. My fact, uh, due to an older camera, digital camera that I have, my Sony, I actually found, and I hope it works, a uh, three and a half inch drive off, out of the old, really old machines. And what I'll do, I put that in there, and of course, go. And what I'll do is I'll put it in there, and hopefully it'll work. Yeah. That way I can pull the video pictures off my uh, the three and a half inch discs for my Sony Maverick. And uh, it, it, it should do what I need to do. I want to eventually, oh, wave up, wave down. That way it'll, it, it will, hopefully, in the long term, it will do what I, what I, if I basically what I want out of it is just the idea of getting it up and running. But I want to make it a kind of a small file server, eventually, because I have an 80 gig and a 40 gig hard drives in there right now. It can't have, it can't handle, it's its IDE. I can hand, it can't handle uh, SATA drives. I got two, two ports for that on my motherboard. Um, uh, that, that may be in the future. That may be in the future. Right now I'm trying to keep the case as clean as possible, use the port, use everything. I, I don't want to make anything for fit the case, you know what I mean? So for now I just use what I got. So, start off with a small, possibly a small file server for the house. Um, I'll be able to do, e you know, basic stuff like emails, web surfing, stuff like that. Uh, I'll be able to do pictures, you know, modif make my thumbnails and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a stretch. This will be a far stretch, and it'll be slow, I realize. It'll be dirt slow, because this machine, I mean, if it runs for freaking days, weeks at a time, I don't care. I really don't care. Um, 
But I figured I'll go ahead and try. Uh, oh, there's a. I can't remember the name of the program, but the app for the Linux, but it, you could do video editing. And it's not easy, from what I understand. Really depends on who you talk to. I mean, if people talk to, to has worked with it in the past, they'll say, "Oh, that's horrible" and everything else. But other people say nowadays the the the, uh, the free uh, open source uh, video op program is not bad. It's not bad. But you gotta remember you gotta download your Kodaks and install them. Or if I could do that, I could do that, no problem. But I've got a couple different flavors, which I can I can go over really briefly there on the f in the future if anybody really cares. Um, I've done Linux in the in, in the past. I got an old uh, Dell laptop up and running after basically uh, 95 grew out of, grew out, grew out of 95. I mean, it, was, it was a freaking horrible pig after, after that. But I went ahead and put uh, I had. I believe it was uh, Mint on it. It might have been Seuss. Susie, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I, I did that back back in the day. That was my first laptop. Well, in fact, I started my YouTube channel on that laptop. Well, actually, I had a, a desktop I, I was doing it with, but that was my, my laptop I, was, I would be watching YouTube videos on. It worked really good. It really did. So, this isn't like I'm going into it blind. It's been a very, very, very long time, but I'm not going into it blind. And I don't have any misleading conceptions, conceptions on it either, because I know oh, it might not do it. Well, everything I wanted to do, I mean, it's a, it's a Pentium 4 for crying out loud. And but the thing is, I'll be able to do, use a Pentium 4 for something. But saying that, saying that, Saying that, I figured I will go ahead and keep my eye out for another motherboard and CPU and everything and basically use the same case to rebuild it later on. You, know, you always run into something. It takes time, but I run into some sort of, you know, motherboard computers that are tossed to the side. This is Buzz Mike. Hope you all have a great week. Signing out.